Thomas the Tang Engine and Friends, Tales from the Rails, Episode 43, Trev Finds His Stride. While there are many little engines on the island of Sodor, the smallest one of them all is Little Trev, number 43. He has a lot to learn, but strives for greatness. One morning, Trev met Byron, the nice bulldozer. Byron was working with Max in a field. They were working on a brand new project. Why, hello there, youngster. My name's Byron, the bulldozer. Glad to be at your service. And who are you? I haven't seen you around these rails. Why, hello there. I'm, uh, I'm Trev, and I'm so new to the rail. That's the top of my hat. Had me built and up to proper railway conditions. Yep, he's a good man, isn't he? Indeed, said Trev. Well, what are you working on here? Uh, I believe it's a chocolate factory. Mr. Jelly's Chocolate Factory is opening up another one. So... Hopefully, that'll be done soon. Here we got Max, and suddenly Alfie arrived. Hello there, Byron. Sorry I'm late. You know, I was stuck behind Lori in traffic. And that's all right, Alfie. Just get to work. Hurry up, said Max from behind. Sorry, Max. And Alfie zoomed away. Well, said Trev, I need to be off. I have much more to learn today. Good luck on the chocolate factory. Thank you, Trev, and good luck on your journeys. With that, he departed from the construction site, leaving Byron quite happy. Hello, Trev. Where are you off to? Off to the yards. Arthur's going to teach me about troublesome trucks. Soon, Trev arrived to the yards. He found Arthur and Murdoch there. They were ready to teach him the lesson. All right, Trev, let's get right into this, because this lesson is very important, said Arthur. Trucks are very troublesome. That's why it's in their name, troublesome trucks. But we need them to accomplish our jobs around the island, and so we have to carry them. Sadly... They cause a lot of trouble. If I can recall my near first accident, luckily I was amended for it, since Thomas played a trick, was caused from troublesome trucks. It was my first day in the island. Thomas told me that he had, his top hat doesn't like the truck singing. They were singing and laughing, and I was trying to stop them. And then they paid me out. I came rushing down Gordon's Hill. Unluckily for me, Duck was waiting at the level crossing, and it was set for roadway. I came into the level crossing with a terrible smash. Squash fruit went everywhere. But Thomas arrived with Sir Topham Hat, and he explained the situation. But still, trucks are trouble. And so you see, from that day on, I learned how careful I have to be with troublesome trucks. Because, when you don't think they're gonna strike, they will. Yes, and Murdoch, doesn't matter your size. The smaller the engine, the bigger the target. Sorry about that, Trev. It's alright, said Trev. I'm sure we can handle these trucks. That's what Oliver said, but then he ended up in the turntable. Oh, said Trev. Oh. Well, I'll try to manage, as long as you guys teach me what to do. Lesson one, never be too harsh with trucks. If you bump them, they'll bump you back. You can learn that from James, who crashed into a whole bunch of tar tankers. The mess was terrible, but the reason for the bumping is because James bumped them first. Rule two, always pay attention to your surroundings. One time Thomas was pushing trucks from the fishing village when some faulty points sent the trucks one way and Thomas the other down the old pier rail, resulting with Thomas splashing in the water. He had fallen into the tidal pool. Rule three, never listen to the trucks. One day they told Percy their stone was for Bolstrode, but they wanted to pay him out. One day Percy was shunting the trucks when disaster struck. They broke through some buffers, leading to Bolstrode. The trucks plunged over the side, landing in Bolstrode's carry. Bolstrode began to sink under all the pressure. And they burst a hole through his carry. Rule 4. Never trust trucks. One day, Percy was asked the trucks to push him past the danger sign. When they arrived, they bumped his driver and fireman off the footplate, but pushed Percy a little too far. That's enough, cried Percy. That's enough. But it was too late. Percy took the plunge. And they couldn't get him out until high tide. Rule 5. Never be overconfident with the trucks. One day, Henry got in an accident and had to go to the works. So Sir Topham Hatt sent Diesel to do his work. Diesel thought he was stronger than Henry and shunted all the trucks in one line, thinking he was the strongest engine. Then he shunted more and the trucks kept chanting, World's Strongest Engine! World's Strongest Engine! But the trucks were up to their old mischief, and they teased them. 
Is that all you can haul? Henry loads are longer. Is that all you can haul? Henry must be stronger. This made Diesel very cross. First Diesel shunted five trucks, then ten, then twenty, until he had a long line of trucks. Most of the trucks put on their brakes, making sure Diesel would not move an inch. Diesel pulled, and he pulled, and he pulled, but it didn't do anything. He grew angry. Urgh, he groaned, and he tried again and again, when suddenly a rusty coupling snapped, and he sent Diesel shooting forward. Help, he cried. He landed in a barge. And then Sir Topham had arrived with Henry. And Henry was coupled to the train and pulled it out with ease. So you see, Trev, the trouble with the trucks. I do now, said Trev. I'll try my best. Thanks for that advice, Arthur and Murdoch. You're welcome, said Murdoch. Any time for a youngster. With that, Murdoch had to go pull a train, and so he left the yards. But Trev saw some trucks outside the yards and wanted to shunt them. What about these, Arthur? Oh, said Arthur, those trucks are very troublesome. I would not even deal with them. Oh, please, said Trev, I got this. And he shunted them back, giving them a giant bump. Pay him out, said Scruffy. Little engine, easy target. Easy target, huh, said Trev. Well, watch this. With a mighty chuff, he brought the trucks forward. Hold back, said Scruffy. How is he winning? And brought him back into the yards. Arthur was impressed. Trev bought, brought them back to the yards. Scruffy had faced defeat. Ah, oh, we'll get him next time. This little engine can't do much. I could do as much as Arthur can. Us little engines are united as one. Yes, said Arthur, united as one. Congratulations, Trev. I guess you learned your stride. I learned my strength too, said Trev. I'm glad I didn't test it out like Oliver that I heard. Oh, when Oliver tests his strength on Scruffy. Oh, don't remind me, said Scruffy. Oh, anyway, said Trev. Thanks for the advice, Arthur. I'll take it into use. All right, said Arthur. Let's get that train ready for James. I'm sure he wouldn't want to deal with these trucks. Yes, yeah, said Trev. Let's do that.